I'm supporting Keith for Home Safe and Well Champion of the Year Award because he's one of those people that likes to do the right thing and health and safety is no different. He's a wonderful health and safety ambassador uh, for our company. Keith's not the sort of person to hide anything. If there's something wrong and he doesn't agree with it, he'll try and sort it. And if he can't sort it, he'll ring me. Uh, he's rang me numerous occasions. I've got this happening on site. Uh, I, I need to know what to do about it. Everybody that works with Keith, I think they take away some of that. Uh, that um, wanting to do a good job uh, and he inspires people. Oh, well, over the years, Keith is a very proactive in his nature, a very helpful chap, looks ahead, sees the problems, comes in your office, talks to you, and explains the problems even when you don't want to hear the problems. At least you hear them and you can do something to manage your way out of sometimes tricky situations. One of the great strengths Keith's got is he's a family man. He's, he's not a young guy, he's been in this business a long time, and he gets to know the teams he's working with. So he can understand when somebody comes in the morning if they're specifically quiet or they're specifically loud. And he can pick up on people's behaviour, not just on their physical well-being, but on their mental well-being. So if somebody's going out on site, when they're thinking about problems at home, they're not going to do their job effectively and they could be doing something that's not safe. And Keith can see these things and, and looks after the guys in that way as well. He doesn't just look at our, our staff, he doesn't just look at McCann's. Keith looks at everyone being on site as one team and everyone should go home safe and well. And because of that, he's got the courage and conviction to stop the status quo. Just because somebody's doing something the same way every day doesn't necessarily mean it's right. And his experience can add to what they're doing. And he'd be quite happy to say, stop, have you ever thought of doing X, Y and Z? And because of that, it makes a safer environment. Health and safety is not a box ticking exercise. It's for everybody on site. Everybody looks after each other. In my experience in 30 years, I've seen a lot of things on site from people losing fingers, breaking the legs, the arms. I've seen people end up in wheelchairs. You don't get second chances on site. Everybody deserves to go home. If I'm out on site and I see someone, I will go up to them and I will challenge them and stop them and tell them what they're going wrong and rectify it before I leave them. And if everybody done that on site, the sites would be a lot better throughout the country. It's not my duty, but I believe in health and safety on site. I want everybody to go home safely. I want everybody to look after each other on site. If we can stop an accident, just one accident happen a day, and that person can go home, you know what I mean? Inside, I feel chuffed. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just summer inside you. You know what I mean? It's a nice feeling, really good feeling.